Hello everyone, Brooklyn here. Welcome back, Lovely Tactics family and new viewers to another Q&A. Now, I have made some of these previously in the past, but I decided to change it up a little bit and actually do it full on face cam. Now, if you guys would like to see background footage with these Q&As, please let me know in the comment section down below as today's video will simply be my face. So now let's get started with the first question. Coming from Valiant Guardian, he says, great video dude, what inspired you to start YouTube and when did you start YouTube? Now what inspired me to start YouTube was this magnific magnificent person called Markiplier and he inspired me to actually pursue something that I loved and to actually try it and see if I was good enough to actually sustain this. I started making videos about three months ago and hold and behold you guys can see 455 subscribers as of today and we are still growing every single day. So I believe I made the right choice in starting this and the next question comes from Bruno Galdiano and he says How's it going, man? Great video, by the way. My question is, do you have a favorite YouTuber that you watch? Yes, I have a couple favorite YouTubers that I do watch, and uh, mostly Level Cap Gaming. He's the one I learned all my skills from. Also, X Factor Gaming and um, Markiplier is someone I watch daily. Sometimes I go around and see PewDiePie, you know, Hoodie Panda. He's an awesome supporter that he's always uh, boosting me up in my confidence. I, I don't really have that many other YouTubers that I watch. I mainly stick to creating content and staying along the lines of first person shooter YouTubers such as Level Cap, X Factor, Jack Frags, Matimio. That's basically all that I do. So I hope this ties in a little bit in with Ruben Harmsey. I think that's how you say your name. He asked me who inspired me to start YouTube and what famous YouTube channel do I watch when I have time. The next question comes from Kevin Watson and he asks me, will you be playing any MMOs and if so, which? If not, I still love your videos. Well, thank you man, I really do appreciate it. I've been contemplating playing some MMOs such as H1Z1, DayZ, uh, stuff like that, but I don't think I'll be bringing too much of that to this channel unless you guys really ask for it, but I'm just going to be sticking to uh, first person shooter games. The next question comes from Rodrigo Arcangelo. And he says, why did you start a YouTube channel? Well, I started a YouTube channel to simply see if I was good at it. I, I always loved editing stuff, making content videos when I was younger of just random things in my life. And as I got older, I decided that I wanted to try and see if I can actually make something out of this and see if I was good enough to play games to entertain people and maybe even teach someday some of the skills that I use on the battlefield. Simply to entertain people, make you guys feel good, have a friend, uh, play games with, um, communicate, all that good stuff is why I started a YouTube channel. And because I love Battlefield, I love first person shooter games and I felt like I was good enough to actually put my stuff on the internet. Now the next question comes from Rory, Loyal Tactics Fam. He says, hey Brooklyn, my question is, Will you be playing the Star Wars Battlefront beta? Yes, my friend, I did cover the beta and I had a ton of fun with it. I am contemplating on getting the game when it releases. I know I will eventually, but I just have so many games to choose from that are coming out. You guys know Fallout 4, Rainbow Six, you know, all those Halo 5, you know, all those good games that are be coming out back to back. I just have to put it on a list. Now the next question comes from that friend and he says, honestly dude I love your commentaries as opposed to everyone else with COD gameplay and trying to be extremely enthusiastic with their voice. Also I'm Puerto Rican too, born in the states. His question is, would you ever consider wanting YouTube as a full time job? If so, do you think it would improve your life seeing all the positive feedback or would it just take too much time? Honestly, that is my goal for this channel. I want to make this a full-time job later on in the future. I want to see this community grow into something very special and it wouldn't take too much of my time. It's all about, you know, prioritizing and knowing when and how to do things, making videos for certain times and it it wouldn't take too much time at all. I feel like where I'm at right now is a very wonderful spot and just the growth that I've been having really makes me feel like in a couple years I can actually do something big with this channel. But full time job, yes, I am planning on trying to make that happen. You know, only time will tell if that can actually be 
something that I can reach. But I am going for that. And the next question comes from Cody Braun, and he says, what music do you listen to? Well, I listen to a variety of music. I mostly like to stick to instrumental, dubstep, electronic style music, such as, you know, EDM and things like that. I'm not too heavy. I was never too heavy into this type of music until I got older and saw how deteriorated the rap community, hip hop and all that stuff has gotten. In my opinion, I just don't find that music appealing anymore. The lyrics don't mean anything. And honestly, music is a lot more powerful in an instrumental format. Like just listening to all the different instruments play together and create something that words can never, ever create is why I enjoy instrumental and all that type of stuff. And and I listen to it when I'm editing uh, my videos and, and actually playing. Sometimes I do listen to, you know, electronic and all that stuff. It just sets me in the mood. Um, relaxing type of music also for instrumental is how I like to go about things. And when in my videos, I do use a lot of action style music because it goes with the format of first person shooters so i hope that answered your question and the next one comes from disapproved he said okay will you do more road to 10 million and can you teach me the sniper tips of course bro if you have any questions you can ask me personally you can send me a message through facebook you can send me a message here you can leave me a comment have a thread on google plus whatever it can be i can make sniper tip videos if you guys would like it's something that i i wanted to do but i felt like other people did better so i kind of left that alone the road to 10 million yes i will be continuing that i've gotten um, a substantial amount of support from it but i just haven't had the time to actually switch over to hardline and play it as much as i would like but i will definitely be playing more road to 10 million and as for the sniper tips bro if you have any questions, you, you can ask me anytime and I'll try to help you. And if you would like for me to start making a series, if you guys would like a series on sniper tips, just let me know and I will try my best to actually get that going. And the next one comes from X Dar Darzeth X. Excuse me. Are you going to branch out from FPS like horror games or Gmod or something? Now, I've been contemplating that, but I believe that since the concrete foundation of this channel has always been first person shooters, I think I'm going to stick to it because many people don't like change and if I decide to change that up many of the people who have come to my channel for first person shooters might just be unhappy with it and I don't want to un make my my family unhappy so I probably won't be branching off of FPS but I will be adding more different style of first person shooters such as Fallout 4 now the next one comes from that elite gamer he says what is your favorite class gun in battlefield 4 and why are they your favorite by the way you're awesome thank you man i really do appreciate it and uh, favorite class engineer of course favorite gun p90 you guys know it uh why simply because i love the cqb aspect close encounters is where i excel the most i feel the most thrill coming from engaging multiple opponents at once and taking them all out whether it be two three or whatever flanking the opponents you know using compact small weapons is also how i feel uh, an engineer or a soldier in close encounters should always be operated i do like using the other classes but by far my favorites are the engineer and the p90 also if i would have to put another one in there i would say the ump 45. the next question comes from elf blade gaming and his question is do you have any animals if so can you show them on camera yes i have a huge goofball of a dog he's a pitbull boxer mix now hey everybody don't get your your panties in a bunch thinking that all pitbulls are evil creatures they're not it's the owner that raises them and i raised mine to be a loving caring dog just like myself and he is a blast i don't know if i'll show him on camera though because he's a little hyper and he's technically not allowed on the wooden floors but i will see what i can do i also have a talking parrot she's really 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 amazing and i my mom has a uh, small shih tzu dog but I can show her on camera and I can show the parent on camera if you guys would like. Now, the next one comes from Hilarity HD. And he says, my question, if YouTube didn't exist, what would your main passion be? Wow, this is a very good question. Um, not to say that all the other questions weren't good, but this one actually gets me thinking. If YouTube didn't exist, what would your main passion be? 
probably something along the lines of helping people um, not too much in a health sense but in a mental sense you know, entertaining or um, being a counselor or talking to people I love the aspect of helping people uh, with problems with anything that has to do with unlocking their potential or their mind or something like that onto a new field of perspective uh, many people have the misconception of a lot of things in life and with the certain right amount of coaching or speech or just a conversation you can change their mind into thinking in a different way so I don't know if that answered your question there but I, I if YouTube didn't exist I would probably be helping people somehow some way and the next question comes from Palavin and he asks, when you hit your milestone of 1000 subscribers what are you planning to do specifically example giveaway day in a life well, when I hit 1,000, I have no idea. Probably when I get there, I, I will know beforehand. I'll probably do a day in a life or something like that. I'm not too much of a fan of giveaways because I feel like that attracts the wrong type of people to the channel. And they'll, they'll just come for the giveaway and then they'll just leave once something happens or they don't get the giveaway or if they do, I just don't feel like that would be viable. But I'll probably do a day in a life or something extravagant like that. And you have also have another question here that says, what school do you study at? and what do you want to be when you surpass your education well I am studying at a business school right now I am doing muscular therapy and I'm I'm actually going gonna try to go to further education to become a personal trainer I excel in the gym and I love working out and it's something that will increase in time because of my ability to help people and I really do love helping people as I stated in the video pre in the in this video previously that it's something that I do enjoy doing and and I would love to do it now if YouTube ever becomes a full-time thing then I might have to uh, slack a little bit on either end and try to accommodate for that because personal training or muscular therapy really doesn't take a lot of time it's something that's hour based and I can do it probably five hours a day and still make a good amount of money on it so I hope that answered your question now the last question comes from MLP Preston and he says what happened to the destiny videos now simply my friend destiny is dead in my opinion uh, the DLC killed it I don't want to spend sixty dollars for a DLC pack and frankly I didn't have the other DLC so it would probably come up to about a hundred dollars just to get all the DLCs and the just everything new and I don't think I want to pay that type of money especially with all the brand new games coming out uh, I don't I don't see myself enjoying destiny as much especially since I capped at 34 a level 34 and the cap is 40 and since I don't have anything else I can't really excel in the game I can't even get legendaries so yeah I can't do anything in the game and that's just frustrating and I believe that the concept of destiny and how they handle their DLC really killed the game for me so I hope that answered all your questions if you guys have any more please leave them here or in the next upcoming ask me questions that I will be making thank you all for helping me reach another milestone I reached 450 very quickly and we are on the road to 500 the goal for the next couple months is to try to get close to a thousand so once again thank you all my amazing tactics family for the questions if you guys have any more remember to leave them here check out the other videos that I have done in the past that you guys might have missed and as always stay loyal to your tactics